Hello every, everyone, this is Seattle Raider X2 bringing you another video. This is Oblivion. Yes, Oblivion, the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to do maybe let's play of this, I don't know yet. Um, like a let's play, you know, like let's play a girl. And maybe I'm going to do that of this game, maybe not, I don't know really. Um, I have done... I have tried to do let's plays um, in the past, but uh, it turned out that I didn't want to play the game anymore and it got boring. And yeah, I'm not really someone who likes to talk um, like 20 minutes straight. Um, no, I, I don't really like that. But anyway, I'm going to probably do a play to, uh, uh, well, let's play of um, Oblivion. Now, this isn't going to be like how you have to do everything. But um, this is just going to be for fun, you know, derping around a little, a little. Um, my yeah, my acrobatic skill has increased. Now I am an imperial warrior, and I'm going to use two-handed weapons. I already um, did the tutorial. <coughs> <coughs> because the tutorial is pretty fucking lame. Like it's really, it's just boring. Um, oh wait, I had to do a quest, didn't I? Yeah, I had a quest. Because um, I did a video, but it didn't turn out to be all too well. <laughs> My audio was way too low. I don't know how the audio on this is, but you couldn't, you could barely hear me, and you could the game, you could hear the game really good. Um, I'm getting a new headset pretty soon. It's not a like expensive one or something, but I'm getting a little bit better one. Um, this one was like two euros, so. <laughs> um, yeah, but I recently got a new PC, and well, b got, I bought it, and um, well, that's why I'm basically playing this game. I can play almost every game that is out right now, but I cannot record every game, that's the only issue. I can play games like Skyrim Rage, um, Saints Row the Third, Starcraft 2, but I can't really, I can record Starcraft 2 probably, but I can't really record any of the other games, which is really unfortunate. But oh, 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 much crap. But right now my quest is to kill a necromancer who has been in this cave, ah, skeleton, and waking the dead. And I have to kill her because people are getting scared. Um, okay. So I'm going to loot this chest, but I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. Um, I'm going to wish you all, all already a happy new year. I am probably going to do a video um, before the end of the new year about well what I like the most about this year. And oh no, I'm not going through that door. That's a hard lockpick door. Um, I can't really lockpick that well. I suck at it. But I'm going to do a video of what my favorite games of 2012 were. And that's how I end the year this time. Not a video where I play a game where I smash my computer. Oh, a zombie. Holy crap, this guy is strong. Oh. Yeah, I'm not really <laughs> that strong. I'm just level 2, so. I do not have any more video. Blunt skill increase randomly. I got a heal. <laughs> Damn. These guys are tough. What, what can you expect? Like, this is my first quest out of the sewers of the Imperial City. Okay, Necromancer is dead. Wait, there was another skeleton. Oh no, wait, there was a zombie who died though, too. Because if the Necromancer dies, then the zombie dies. But yeah, um, now I don't really think I'm going to do a let's play of this. I'm already getting pretty bored by talking right now. I will just probably just do some stuff that I find fun. Yeah, that's a better idea. I just record some stuff that I have when I like feel like I want to record and that's it. That's a probably a pretty good idea. I am not really a let's player. <laughs> I basically I've, I have nothing to talk about really. Um, there was nothing really, uh, there, there isn't anything extraordinary happening in my life. I go to school, I come home, I make my homework, I go gaming, I eat, I go back, I go s go back to gaming, I go watch some TV, I have some sleep, and that's it basically. That's my entire day. Every day. And then it we it's weekend. 
There isn't really anything special about my week. Um, oh, I haven't. Have I told this? Um, no, I don't think so. It's been a pretty long time since I uh, did a video. But um, I had a guinea pig called Skipper, and um, not fairly recently he died. Died. Um, he had like a heart attack. It sounds really weird for a guinea pig to have a heart attack, but he had one. Um, and that's how he died, but yeah, that's something I can talk about. And uh, guinea pig, but anyway, he died, and we buried him next to the rabbit, even though it's kind of illegal to bury your animals. <laughs> we just do it like we don't care by the time they find out we do that, and you know, we're already gone, <laughs> and we are already gone by then. Um, but um, we got a new guinea pig, we went to like a farm where they had guinea pigs. And we got another one. We called him Rambo because um, the uh, we had two male guinea pigs, and the other male gu and when we um, got the guinea pig, like the new one, we um, it's um, we, we like put him on the grass in like in a, a place where he could meet the other guinea pig because you can you cannot really put him in a cage. Oh, he's his own zombie with a fireball. But um, you can't really put him in a cage straight away. Because then, um, if they like don't like each other, then they will start fighting, and bad stuff will happen. But um, the thing was, um, our guinea pig was um, like the son of the dead guinea pig. He was starting to show his dominance, but our guinea, but the new guinea pig didn't really care about that and started hitting him. <laughs> well, no, he didn't hit him, but he started. Oh, I need to I need to use some health potions right here. Um, he started to like fight back a bit, and that's why we called him Rambo because he didn't, you know, he didn't, um, he didn't back down, and that's why we called him Rambo. You know, he was not backing down; he was continuing the fight. Oh, okay. I need to kill this guy. I can't really kill the ghost. Um, and <laughs> look at him running, like a little bitch. But um, yeah, so we call him Rambo. But but eventually, at first they could really, um, they kind of liked each other. I think I can say that. But um, eventually, it uh, it escalated as Rambo was starting to attack our own guinea pig, who's called Suarez. Um, he started attacking Suarez, and well, he kept running away from him. But he had no place to hide. We eventually found a hiding place on a box we made, where they could. Um, we made. We once made a box where they could, um, like, sit on. Yeah, they could sit on a box. Uh, no, they could be in the box. Um, it would be really warm because we have like the upper cage, um, which is where they eat and stuff. And you have like the bottom cage, which is on the ground, and they walk on the ground. And um, it's it can pretty cold, can get pretty cold there. So we decided to make like a box where they could um, sit in. But the but um, Suarez eventually just walked up on. The eventually walked up on the. Oh, this by the way the key I need to the door. He walked up, um, like on the roof of it um so to be away from Rambo but eventually but he the problem was he was afraid to jump off the box and eventually Rambo um found a way to get on it too so then he was nowhere safe and uh, we decided to bring him back to the farm and um instead and uh, we took two like babies with us um like baby guinea pigs um, because that, um, then Suarez would like show his dominance, they would back down and then everything would be okay. Um, so we took two small ones and we called one Kutje, or you can call him cow in English. And the reason is um, we used to like kind of breed guinea pigs. Not, not, not really breed, but just no fun having a few little guinea pigs. But, um,. <laughs> Um, we had once, we once had one called Cow, uh, which was a baby, and we gave it to the same farmer, 
um, when he was grown up, when he was um, six weeks old, ready to leave the nest because he couldn't really find an owner for him. So we brought him to that farm, and when we just uh, came to that farm to get the two little guinea pigs, we saw that it was filled with little cows. So we took one cow, um, and we took a brown one, and we called him Junior because I liked to call. Oh, this is the guy I need to kill. Um, we just called him Junior because we f I found that to be a proper name. Um, oh, he was always like exploring things, and it made me think of like a, a, a Junior from Madagascar, like, like you know the movie. Um, yeah, it made me it made me think of him, so that's why I called him that. He was young and exploring. So no, why not? <laughs> I mean, we had to find a name to give him a name. I mean, this guy's pretty tough. Ow! What the hell is he doing? Okay, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Mystic isn't being drained. I slain Raylin the Grave Finder. I should return to Melina to rock Roxy in and deliver the good news. Now I need to kill this guy before I leave, so I can lose the place. Oh fuck! Oh 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 lo 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 I cannot drink any more potions. So that sucks. <laughs> uh, okay, just like that. Oh, I need to loot her. Oh, I oh, did already do that. Hmm. What's this? Pearl, sapphire. That's a plate. <laughs> Topaz, Topaz, chest. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I suck at lock picking. Yes! Not really anything of value in there. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to finish this quest and then it's um, enough for this episode of Oblivion. Um, yeah. So, I hope you all have a happy new year. Oh wait, that's kind of strange to say right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not really a pro commentator or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying things right now. Um, everything is going pretty well. Um, school is going okay, life is going well, pretty good. I can't really say it's going all too well, but it's going pretty nice. Um, personal reasons, by the way. Um, I'm not going to like talk to anyone, everybody about that. Oh, I've heard a rumor that a strange doorway has appeared on a small island in the Niven Bay. Oh yeah, that's because I have installed all the DLCs and now I get all those quests all the time. Um, but I'm not going to do them right now. Like, they're way too high level for me. Ooh, here's a horse. Oh yeah, that's from that's the horse from the I'm Imperial listening. Soldier, which what is not here want? right now. Rumors. Mud crabs. What's the point? Annoying buggers. <laughs> okay. Hello. What's your? I assume you've dealt with Raylan. I realize it's in poor taste to celebrate anyone's demise, but Raylan was evil through and through. You've done the right thing. I believe we had a contract. Here's my part. Oh my god, I hit it with 45 gold coins. Oh well. Have a look at my wares. I'm, I'm going sure to sell some stuff. Um. Oh wait, can I can I alchemy right now? Can I use my alchemy? Oh wait. Horse armor note. In celebration of the launch of a new boarding services, we are offering a free set of horse armor to the bearer of this letter. To retrieve your reward, bring your favorite horse, along with this notice, to the chestnut handy stables outside of the Imperial City. Help us spread the word about the new horse armor services. Okay. Yeah, sure, enhance invisibility. Oh, cool, I can now be invisible. Can I be invisible? Dude. Dude. Thank you. I, I have my business. I won't be prepped in the Somerset Isle. It's 
So wait, what did I just do? Goodbye. Well met. Goodbye. What is it Hi now? There. What's going on with you? I ran into a couple of mud crabs not long ago. What did you? <laughs> what <Hello. laughs> is he doing? <laughs> what the hell is this? Light and oh, visibility. Oopsie. Never mind. I thought it said invisibility. What can I do for? Okay, but well this will be the episode of the day. <laughs> I hope you all have a nice new year, and I will see you all. Um, oh wait, and I will see you all really, really, really soon. Oh yeah. Combining wheels. That's for us. Okay, <laughs> I kind of increased my alchemy skill, even though I created bullshit potions. Okay, so this will be the episode oh, of today. I, I hope you all have a nice new year, and I will see you all pretty soon. Bye-bye.